After inducting Chinese JF-17 Block 3, Azerbaijan Air Force Commander was examining the Chinese J-10CE at the Zhuhai Air Show 2024. Indian Army is all set to order 12 regiments of guided Pinaka Mark II rocket system. Hyderabad-based Zen Technologies has launched its Thierstab 640 anti-drone system camera, which provides exceptional situational awareness through automatic search and tracking capabilities. Prime Minister Modi has arrived in Nigeria on a bilateral visit, and a key focus of this visit is the potential sale of 12 Prachand light combat helicopter. BrahMos Aerospace will soon conduct trials of the BrahMos missile with indigenously developed seeker, after which the seeker will enter full-scale production. The Indian Army has issued a request for information for procurement of 1,000 surveillance copters for higher resolution imagery, for effective monitoring of adversary movements and activities in mountainous terrain. European missile manufacturer MBDA has expanded the manufacturing of 15 major sub-assemblies for its MICA missile within India, that will extend to next-generation MICA NG missile in 2026. Airbus and Tatu are exploring the export of C-295 transporters. India has successfully test-fired a long-range hypersonic missile last night, and the flight data obtained from downrange ship stations confirmed the successful terminal maneuvers, an impact with high degree of accuracy, signaling India's entry into the elite club of nations advancing hypersonic weapon technology. The Mach 9-capable long-range hypersonic anti-ship missile system is designed to carry various payloads for ranges greater than 1,500 km, and it is optimized for unique operational scenarios, including coastal defense and naval blockade scenarios. Traditional ballistic missiles lack the precision required for engaging moving targets such as warships, but hypersonic glide vehicles address this limitation by incorporating maneuverable glide vehicles that operate independently after their launch phase. We had reported earlier, that the Super Shukhoi upgrade will be executed in two main phases, and in the first phase 84 fighter jets will be fitted with upgraded avionics, enhanced ACE radar and sensor systems, electronic warfare and self-protection systems, and better weapons integration. New information indicates that the phase 2 will also include 84 more aircraft, that will incorporate cutting-edge technologies from fifth-generation AMCA program, like next-generation avionics sensors and electronic warfare suite, man-unman teaming, data fusion capabilities, and extended survivability enhancements. BrahMos Aerospace is progressing with a significant upgrade to its BrahMos air launched cruise missile, as its range is being extended from current 450 km to 800 km, achieved through a combination of advancements in missile propulsion and fuel efficiency. Developmental trials for the extended range BrahMos LCM are set to begin by end of 2025, with plans underway to modify one more Su-30 squadron to increase its BrahMos equipped fleet to a total of 60 aircraft. Today's top 3 comments.